Phew. For a second there I thought I'd forgotten my MP3 player. <laughs> and it won't come out. <sighs> Give me my earphones. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, how you all doing? Oh. Why? What? What have I got? I can't get my earphones out of this bag, honestly. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Don't fall off. <laughs> Come on, wait. Oh, I've got one earphone out. I can't go running without my MP3 player. There we go, got it out. So can you guess where I am? <laughs> Obviously at Rother Valley. Mind you, I'm in two minds about going for a run because I have the niggling of a headache starting, so I don't know if going for a run will make it actually turn into a headache or it'll just make it go away. I think it's just from working quite hard today, especially up here, I've, I've made my brain hurt. <laughs> so it could be just a teeny weeny bit of stress from work and running may relieve that and I've remembered to put my shorts on today showing off my sexy legs <laughs> <laughs> and at least I remembered to fill my water bottle before I left work and uh, yes it is an absolute gorgeous day but there is a bit of a breeze so it's not gonna stop me from going for a run although saying that the last time I tried running in very hot weather I struggled hopefully not today so I'm just trying to figure out what else I need to get out of this bag. I've got to find my sweatband. You know what I put on my wrist to mop off the sweat from my brow. Okay, no, that, that's my wallet. <laughs> that's, that's no good. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Once again, don't fall off. <laughs> I might as well get this out for when I get back. Aha, found it wristband on maybe the right way up I keep forgetting to wash this blooming thing it's got a bit of muck on it yes you know how filthy I am right now that I'm finally ready time to go down to the park and attempt another three mile run and I'm not going to try and beat my last run because of the heat yeah I guess I'm gonna see how well I do hopefully not too bad yeah, I've got a dilemma. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> I usually go that way around, but I'm thinking of going that way around because, uh, you know, I keep going that way. But with the sun being out, there's more shade down here and it's better for when I'm coming back. <sighs> oh, cool. Just, uh, just heard that plane going over. Another one there. Yeah, because of the sun, I'm going to go the regular way. I have to admit, I'm wearing out. I think I was going a little bit quicker than I normally would. And then, just after I got past the halfway point, I started getting really bad stage. And it's eased off now, but I can still feel it's still niggling at me. And I'm almost at the two mile marker now. I'm hoping the shade around the other side is going to help me. Because I'm finding the urge to stop. I don't want to do that. Uh, I managed to get around in one go. The shade did help. And the song I was listening to was coming to an end and I kept thinking, please let a motivational song come on. Something that will keep me going. And sure enough, the song what's it called again um no man's land from wonder woman came on and that gives me goosebumps every time i listen to it so of course that kept me going <laughs> and uh, as i've come into this last bit here i wanted to go faster but my body it was just like no i can't go any quicker i was actually feeling a little sickly and uh, anyway i persevered got to the end click stop on my watch and guess what Remember last time it was 31.25 I believe. <laughs> it is 30 minutes, 17 seconds. I'm almost 
almost at the 30 minute limit. Uh, if I'd have picked up that speed here, I'd have probably beaten it. <sighs> but I'm getting closer. I was expecting to do worse to be quite honest because of the, the heat. I can't believe I'm almost <laughs> Oh and as for muscle pain, I've not had any of that at all over the last few runs. My ankle was hurting before I started running by the way and it sort of eased off during the run but it's sort of coming back on at the moment it's not causing too much discomfort I can walk on it alright and now I'm gonna do my stretches I need to go to the Asda and then go home of course I've got to walk Carly but after that I'm looking forward to my bath I get to use that bath foam for the first time so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to my bath got one happy doggy <laughs> Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> that headache I was talking about earlier, it keeps coming and going and coming and going. It can't make up its mind. <sighs> I don't know what's going on there. Be right. <laughs> I do know one thing, I'm tired now. I've worn myself out doing that run. When I went to the Asda, I thought, oh, I'll go and get a bottle of Lucozade. Forgot. So when I got home, I thought, I've got some Lucozade in the fridge, I'll drink it while I'm walking Harley. Yeah, I forgot that as well. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I never noticed something. My trainers, my running ones, they are now starting to split. Right there, look. These will last me for a little while, but looks like I'm definitely going to have to get some more now. Oh no, more shopping. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to do that today. Right now all I'm thinking about is bath. Not just because I'm needing it after having a run, I still haven't washed up since I finished work. I figured instead of going and having a shower, I'm just going to get filthy again anyway. So I thought, well, I'll wait till I've had my run. And well, I feel a bit mucky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to my bath. Uh, that bath was so relaxing. That stuff is supposed to relax your muscles and to be honest it feels like my ankle isn't feeling that pain now I am a little on my foot though <laughs> and my headache is gone I think I'm not certain but I think it was my sinuses actually they were getting a bit clogged or something and with the heat of the bathtub and also that stuff it's supposed to warm the body it says as well as relax muscles and it's just made it go away but to be honest I felt like I could have just stayed in that bathtub and fallen asleep it was very comfortable you know you've got them bubbles just like popping at the side of your ears very relaxing but it hasn't got rid of my hunger i'm getting very very hungry now in fact because it's now 10 past five i'm gonna go and have something to eat which means i need to finish the video talking of finishing videos i'm still rendering yesterday's vlog <laughs> i didn't have the time last night took me, what time, I finished editing it at about half past nine last night and I thought shall I render it now and then I'm like no I want to go to bed and I still had to walk Harley again so I saved it for when I came home today. It better hurry up, I want to get that uploaded and then I've got this vlog to edit and with that being said I'm going to sign off now. So I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Just want to read out a comment on my Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure Florida trip part 6. <sighs> That's a mouthful. And yes, it's an old one. Scott Podmore says, R.I.P. Twister, we love that ride. Yeah, I miss that ride too. Only because I've not been there for, what, four and a half years. But never again, me. Yeah, it'd be right. <laughs> I'm not going to stop saying it now. <laughs>